Aaron Boone. This is not a safe situation, Aaron. So uh, what are you looking for with Chapman here? Just just another outing for him to build up. He's 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 throwing the ball really well. Um, he's had a good spring, a really good progression. Just you know, a, another outing here. He'll have an off day and then go again on uh, Wednesday. So he'll go every other day right now. But really like where he's at uh, in his progression. He came in in a great spot. Obviously, you know, we're, we're talking about the split finger a lot, which has become. Uh, it's been a really good, we feel like it's going to be a really good pitch for him, and, and it's a pitch that he's got a pretty good feel for. So he'll face Reese Hoskins. Hoskins is two for two. You know, I'm curious, Aaron, he has a fastball and a change. The split actually can act as a change. Will that shelve the change, or will it just be a third pitch that he'll use? No, it's it's just that. It's, it's split, change, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, pitch it, pitch with some really whoa. Uh, it's just so it's fast slider split. Mm -hmm. Do you well, think he has the confidence really to throw it in the ninth inning? I do. Yeah, it, it's something that he started messing with a little bit late last season, and then actually used it in the postseason. Even it's it's a pitch that he, it, I mean. It profiles as a really effective pitch, but it's also a pitch he's shown to have a really good feel for. So um, I think we're all, including Chappie, very excited about it and, and what it can do for him and, and really as he moves through his career. Here's the 2-0. 3-0. Booney, uh, the Yankee pitching in the spring has been great. What pitcher has stood out for you? What pitcher is pitching better than you thought? Um, wow, it's a great question because they all really, we really have pitched really well. Um, you know, I, I think Domingo Herman, the way he's looked, um, you know, the way I put it, I guess the lack of rust. Um, he's really been sharp. The stuff has been really good. Excellent command with all his pitches. Um, it surprised me. Uh, I thought there would be more rust to knock off, and, and he's he's been really impressive. But I could go down the list. I mean, the way Garrett threw the ball yesterday, the way Chappie's been throwing, I, I feel good about our the way our bullpen's been throwing. All our starters uh, have been throwing the ball really well. So encouraged by where they all are at this point in spring. But. Uh, you know, we start to get, we get to find out for real in another 10 days. Now, of the six starters that mm -hmm. we kind of assume are battling for the fifth spot or the five spots, coming into this game, Aaron, 1.66 ERA. So somebody who has pitched very well this spring is not going to get into that rotation. Would well, that be a tough uh, call for you to have? Or is it going to be tough to have that conversation with that said pitcher? Yeah, I mean, Sure, of course, but I would I would also say that, it, you know, look, every year you're going to need to lean on typically more than five guys, and, and we think this year coming off of last year and, you know, with, with some of the guys that we're going to, you know, make sure we're protecting and taking care of and watching, you know, how, just how much they throw, there's going to be, you know, six and seven and, and beyond that that are going to, make meaningful appearance for us and pitch meaningful innings for us and we really feel good about the depth of guys that we have and guys that we could turn to whether we go with a spot starter from time to time potentially insert a six guy at different points of the season so uh feel good about the, the depth that we have right now and how they've looked to this point there's the o2 to gregorius one and two. Let's talk about your starter today, Tyone. He gave up his first run of the spring. Mm -hmm. Did he run out of gas? Or it looked like he, he got victimized by the shift. The ball was hit just through the vacated hole. What did you think of Tyone? I thought he was actually really sharp. Um, he just ran up. He was a, on a 60 pitch count today. So we're, we got him out of there and actually worked out well because we were thinking about getting Greeny uh, two ups and he ends up going four outs, which we wanted to do with him. That allows Hoskins to go to second. Um, but I thought he was really sharp, actually, with all his pitches. I thought he elevated his, I thought he used his fastball at the top of the zone effectively. 
elevated some really good sliders. I thought Hoskins for the RBI, I thought really put together a good at bat um, when, when J-Mo executed a lot of pitches and, and he just ends up beating them. Then, he, you know, the, a chopper up the middle, you know, some soft serve on him, but I thought overall he, th he threw the ball really well, um, again, in, in, in kind of his buildup. One of the tough decisions I would think you're going to have to make, Aaron, is Bruce and Talkman. One doesn't have an option. One's not on the 40-man roster. So the guy that doesn't make the team, you you might lose. How close is that battle? Well, and I think you can add Derek Dietrich to that mix. I mean, those you know, those are those those two guys plus Dietrich are really guys that have. Um, you know, come in and, and been what we had hoped, I guess you'd say, you know. We've seen Jay Bruce play a lot of first base to go along with the outfield, you know, showing that versatility. He looks healthy. I feel like he's had quality at bats. Same could be said for Dietrich and, and Mike Talkman. I feel like he's looked look good and really played well in the outfield. Set up a couple balls out of the ballpark this spring. So they've all, I think, done what we've hoped. So, so or I guess in a way, turning it into a, a, a difficult decision. Well, Booney, a lot has been made about Ashella shifting over a couple of days ago playing short. Now, you know and I know he can play shortstop. He played for Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And he, he can play, you know, he has such great hands. As he said, I can play second, too. But you have to have a reserve infielder, am I right? Well, yeah, and, and you know, obviously we're lucky to have, you know, Tyler Wade, who's who's really good defensively in the in infield and can play all over and, you know, can play the outfield as well. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's about just trying to create a little bit of versatility. You know, you get in situations where maybe Gio needs to go over and play a day to, to spell uh, Glaber or, or you got to fill in and for a couple innings here and there. You know, similar to, to what DJ does. You know, DJ's going to play another game at third base here later this week. We'll, we'll mix them in at first. We'll switch them over to first mid-game that time. Hoskins goes. Ball gets away from Sanchez, so Hoskins is at third. They always base. say that you you steal third base on the pitcher, and boy, that was a case right there. Look at Hoskins running, and no one would have thrown him out. That would be the ball in the dirt. Yeah, we we he, he got he got a walking lead there. And, um, he actually got us the other day when we were a little slow to the mound, stealing second. So. You know, lost track of him a little bit there. So runner at third. Yankees bring the infield in. Tipped into the glove of Sanchez, two and two. Now, Tyler Wade is such a good defensive shortstop. Mm -hmm. But in theory, Aaron, you would need him in a big way if Glaber got hurt. But if you don't carry Wade and he has an option left, the fact that Geo could play short in a pinch, that mm -hmm. gives you some maneuverability there if that's the decision you make, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you're just trying to, you know, you know, where guys have a particular skill set. It might have been the spin right there, huh? Yeah. Um, where guys have, you know, a particular, where they have some, you know, some room with their with their skill set, and certainly Geo, we all know, has great hands, and and plays so much shortstop. Really, when he shifted over, anyway, it's it's kind of easy for him to go over there. So, you know, to create some versatility as much as we can, like you know, we're doing with we're trying to do with Bruce. Dietrich plays a lot of positions. Obviously, Wade, uh, DJ, with his ability to go to third and first. You know, especially with rosters that are more, um, you know, more pitchers nowadays. And, um, you know, only, you know, now with a 26-man, we'll, we'll put, likely have a four-man bench, one of those being a catcher. The more versatility you can create with guys uh, just allows you, gives you more options and, and a little more flexibility night in and night out. 1-0 count on Herrera. You know, we were talking about the Yankees in the, the 50s where they actually had two backup catchers and they didn't carry 12, 13 pitchers. And, and there's some murmurs about maybe that baseball could limit the amount of pitchers that a team could carry so you could carry more position players. Would you be in favor of that or do you want 15 pitchers? 
No, I, I'd, I'd be in favor of some kind of limit, and I think I think baseball is moving that way. Um, I, I think they're keeping it open this year, just with the extension of of COVID and and things like that. They're keeping that flexibility there, but I think we're moving to where it's a more balanced roster. Thank you, Aaron. We appreciate your time. All right, guys. See you soon.